So the first thing is, when do problems become nonlinear? One of the major areas you run into is geometric nonlinearities. This is when you start um, occurring with large displacements, um, where the stiffness matrix is no longer the same. Um, one example here is this little wing model. You can see here, if we assume the linear model, it doesn't take very much to bend it all the way to eight inches. But when you actually look at the nonlinear regime, that force is much higher. So one area that will always force you to go into nonlinear is large displacements and also large strains, which is post-buckling behavior shown here. Another thing is material nonlinearities. In addition to the geometry, you might run into cases where you're outside the linear range of the uh, um, stress-strain curve, and you start going into the yield region. Um, the things that could occur here is even plasticity, and we'll be shown today an example of uh, showing a bit of plastic behavior in one of our models with material nonlinearities. Finally, uh, one other area that can cause nonlinearities is load path and stiffness changes. This could occur from you know, contact, elements that were not in contact now start touching and become part of a load path, or in some cases, elements even disappear uh, through element rupture. So between between geometric, material, and also load path nonlinearities, you have a lot of problems that will require more than just your basic linear static solver. So first of all, what is advanced nonlinear? Advanced nonlinear is an add-on solver uh, to the uh, VMAP suite of tools. It uses Adena as its baseline solver, um, but it's transparent to VMAP, um, even to Nastran. So it's just a matter of simply setting an option from your analysis type, from static or basic nonlinear to advanced nonlinear. Um, but it does give access to some additional capabilities outside the basic solution 106, which we'll describe here shortly. Um, basic nonlinear, um, or sorry, advanced nonlinear includes the following solution types, types, which is implicit, static, and transient, which is a 601, uh, 106 for static, and 129 for uh, transient solutions, and also the explicit transient solution, or 701. And we're going to be demonstrating both of these uh, a little bit later today. So what are some of the advantages of the um, advanced nonlinear over the basic nonlinear package? One thing is um, larger strain and displacement support. Again, this is both capability in the basic and advanced, but uh, advanced nonlinear is able to handle problems with even greater strain than 10% um, that might sometimes cause convergence issues with your basic nonlinear. So you're going to have definitely large displacement strain to support. support. Another big area is surface-to-surface um, -surface contact. Um, in basic, you'd have to use gap elements to uh, specify contact between two surfaces. And if the two surfaces displaced quite a bit from each other, um, you would actually result in erroneous answers. But with surface-to-surface um, -surface contact, you're able to allow for large displacement between two different contact surfaces and still get proper contact results. There's a lot more uh, stability and control options, or solution control options, that are available in the advanced nonlinear uh, packages. Um, there are also support for advanced material models, um, hyperelastic um, material models, um, strain rate dependent materials, and several um, other advanced material models are available uh, inside the advanced nonlinear package. Another major area is uh, support for explicit solutions. And this would typically be used for high speed or um, impact type problems, uh, which we'll be demonstrating a little bit later today. Uh, with this, also, we can support um, another feature we're going to demonstrate today is element rupture. This is where elements actually get deleted based off um, of on Mises stress criterion, um, and as they hit that limit stress, uh, they actually get deleted, allowing you to simulate um, structures fail failing and some post-failure um, behavior. So these are some of the basic, some of the capabilities within uh, solutions 601 and 701 as an add-on into FEMAP.